One of the most maligned parts of the Fedora experience is the installer. A lot of people will tell you that the installer for Fedora is probably the worst installing experience of you can find on Linux. It's just not very good. It has problems when it comes to like visual and design parts of the installer, but also pure functionality when it comes to trying to to partition a drive or choose encryption or a different file system any of that stuff it's not a very good experience especially when you try to compare it to something like ubuntu's installer or the calamari's installer it's just not as good of an experience it's probably the worst part of fedora like i said so it was good to hear that the Fedora project has been working on a rewrite of the Anaconda installer. So recently they released the first preview of that new installer and we're going to look at it today. Now, before we jump in, we should notice that this is a very, very early project. So they're just kind of getting started. It's beta software. It does work surprisingly well, but they don't recommend you use this on a production machine. So I just wanted to warn you before you go and try to install this on your own, that this is meant for beta testing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this installer. So if you've ever installed Fedora before, you'll know that this looks completely different than the Anaconda installer we have now. So it is a little bit better designed and it looks a little bit more like it fits into GNOME. So it has the gray bar at the top. So if you've ever used GNOME before, has the add weight uh, theme, that kind of fits in. Also, it just looks more modern. So the first page you come across is one to select your language. So you can pick the language that you need. So I'm gonna just choose English United States and then we're gonna hit next. So this is the partition manager and it's not much. As of right now, it doesn't look like there's much in terms of manual options. I'm assuming that that will come in later, but right now what you have is going to be an automatic partitioning system and there's nothing like encryption here or anything like that yet. Again, this is early days, so I'm assuming all that stuff will eventually be built in. But as of right now, all you get is the ability to select the drive you want to install Fedora on. Now, one of the cool things I find about this installer so far is that they're building in help. So if you click on the question marks that are littered all over the place, or at least in some places, I should say, you'll be able to know what these things are supposed to do. But also there are links to actual like help pages that you can read and understand more about what's going on, which is very nice and definitely something that will help new users. So once you have selected the drive that you want to install Fedora on, you hit next. It's going to check the disks. It takes very little time. It's going to show you a summary of what you're going to be doing. Hit erase install, erase install again. And that's literally the entire installer. That's it. Just like with the way Fedora is now, you don't do user creation or any of that stuff here in the installer. You do that post install. So that's going to stay the same. Otherwise, it's just a matter of checking language. It's just a matter of checking the disk, and then that's it. That's the entire installer as it is right now. Again, as I said, I'm assuming that this is going to be something that gets more complicated as they start adding other features. So things like encryption, like more manual options for your partition and stuff like that. But as of right now, the UI is very, very simple. And to be honest with you, I kind of like it. It's not necessarily the way I thought that they would go or even the, the way that they should go. Personally, I'm all for them just using the Calamari's installer. It's there. It would work perfectly fine. All they'd have to do is do some tweaks to make it work with Fedora. And it would, you know, they could just go on about their day and maybe contribute upstream to that installer. I understand that a lot of people don't like standards and stuff like that, but it just feels like that's the way they should go simply because it would save them some work probably and it's also a very good installer you don't have to start from the ground up but that's the but that's not the way they've chosen to go so they've decided to build their own and that's perfectly fine it works really well for being beta software it works which is good i would say that there's still quite a few features that they need to add like i said encryption and the ability to manually partition i'd like to see the ability to use something other than butterfs if you want to if you wanted to use ext4 or something like that i'd love that kind of options and also there's no selection here for keyboards so if you want to use an alternative keyboard other than just the english or the one that's associated with your language i suppose 
you know, you kind of ought to look at this point. So hopefully that's also added in. Actually, if I know for sure that the Anaconda installer right now allows you to choose a keyboard. So that's one of those things that's still going to have to be built in. Again, very, very early days. And what I've seen so far is promising. They're paring it down to the basic form of the installer and then they'll build on top of that. But also the best part of it right now is that the UI is very simple. And I think that it's going to be easier for people to understand and move from one place to another. Because the thing about installers is that you want them to be linear. You want them to be from, you know, step, 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 finish. That's the way it's supposed to be. With the current Fedora installer, it's not linear. It has one page where all the stuff you have to do is on, you click on each link, and then you install it. You know, it's not really all that intuitive, and it can be very confusing for people who have never seen it before. So this right here, at least so far, is an improvement, and I like to see it. So that is the new Fedora installer. If you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Linuscast, just like all these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much. I truly do appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.